Hey, this is B from Kongs R Us, and today we're going to show you how to update your Arcade 1UP pinball machine that you may just have gotten or you might have modded previously with the A1UP pinner mod because today's the day. Today is the day that version 3.9 has finally been released by Mystery Encoder and team. It's finally here on May 31st, 2022, a couple months after we wanted it to be released. And it's 3.9, not 4.0, but there's a lot of good stuff in here. So let's check out the website. You want to go to team dash encoder.com for everything you need to get this mod done. So from here, you can click on the menu navigation, go to the A1 pinner. There's a lot of information about reading text. So if you want to read through the instructions, I highly, highly recommend it. But here's the list of current modifications that 3.9 does. It allows you to add Zen pinball, it allows you to add pinball arcade, it allows you to exit out of tables. There's a custom launcher. You have solenoids working. You have 1080p across the board. You have Zen DMD working, which is one of the biggest features people wanted. And there's more to come. So definitely check out teamencoder.com. Bookmark this page. You don't want to miss it. All you're going to need to do this mod is actually a micro USB cable to USB. So you might want to need a long one to get from your pinball machine to your PC or a laptop that's close by. And that's pretty much it. And a laptop. Right now, you're you're going to need a Windows laptop. This won't work with Mac for now. Um, so if you have a Mac, I highly recommend using Bootcamp to get into a Windows environment. Then you can do this mod. Head to teamencoder.com, click on this mega link to download version 3.9 onto your desktop for right now. There's also links to everything else you need on here. No more going to different websites to look for different things to download. No going to FC websites to buy this. You should not be paying for this ever. Let's just make that clear right now. You can do this on your own. So click on the mega links here to grab the APKs. If you're upgrading from 3.1, you can do this over and over again with any version that you have. So here's the basic how-to. We're gonna install this information. You're gonna need a couple other things too. You're gonna need the Zen Pinball APK, which is available here for download, as well as the um, pinball arcade apk which you can find here so click on all these links these are all mega links if you click on them it's going to take you to a mega website and you're going to be able to download onto your desktop so once you have all that stuff on your desktop uh, we can go ahead and get your pinball machine ready to flash now this pinball machine is back to stock i have this machine stock uh pretty much uh reflash to the original arcade one up if you got this brand new recently on the sale you can start this from scratch or if you have this uh, from a version 3.1 or above uh, or any of the other previous versions you can upgrade from that point in time too so you don't have to go back to stock this is just there so if this is your first time modding this you're going to shut down your actual pinball machine and then you're going to open up your cab. Now you can do this either from the back of the cab or like me, I just like easier access to get to this from the front. So from here, what I'm gonna do is um, regen from underneath the front and I'm gonna access the PCB. So um, I'll just underneath the table here. Um, the PCB, you should unplug it to be 100% safe. But what you need to do is flip the flash mode to the off position. So you're just going to flip the switch to the opposite direction that it's currently at, and that puts it into flashing mode. And that's pretty much it. So once you do that, you're going to take your micro USB cable and plug it into your PCB, plug that into your PC, and then we're going to get started. So let's go ahead and go back to the desktop. So from here on my desktop, this is the version 3.9. I'm going to go ahead and extract these files directly onto my desktop here. Um, so let's just go ahead and extract them there. Here's the folder with everything that you need. Uh, A1 pinner is right here. So these are the files um, that you can see here. Um, all the APKs that I downloaded earlier are right over here. So I have these in these folders. Um, so you can go ahead and drag all of these into the root of the version 3.9. If this is your first time doing the mod, you're gonna need the Star Wars, Williams, and Marvel pinball packs here. And so just make sure you drag them into the root file to get this started. The other thing you're gonna need to do in order to get pinball tables from Zen or Pinball Arcade is uh, download BlueStacks, which you can grab from uh, you know, the website. BlueStacks lets you install Android applications onto your desktop, and then you can run these apps and grab the tables that you'll need to do that. So from here, let's go ahead and plug in your um, pinball machine. 
All right, so this is the user interface for version uh, 3.9. There's disclaimers about not purchasing this thing, this from Etsy. Please don't make those purchases. If you need help, go to the Discord um, or check this video tutorial as well. So we're going to first double check to make sure the USB is plugged in. We're gonna flip the power switch on our pinball machine. And you should hear that chime on your PC making that noise that it's connected. If everything's connected right, you'll see this one launch payload to PCB up um, loading up. So the version, you, if you'd like to continue, you're gonna have to click it uh, one time and check to see if the driver is, is installed. If it doesn't install, it's gonna install the drivers for you and then it's gonna relaunch number one again. So if you're doing this for the very, very first time, you're gonna need to do this and cycle it on to make sure that the drivers are installed. So this could take anywhere from about 30 seconds to a minute or so. Um, if people are having issues at this point, double check all of your USB cables and connections. Make sure that the USB cable is going all the way into the PCB onto the pinball machine. Make sure that it's connected into your PC. Getting the right USB cables makes a huge difference. Uh, I'll link a couple of different versions of cables that you can use in the description below. But once that's set up, then you should be good to go. All right, so now that the driver is installed, we're gonna go ahead and click on launch payload on PCB one more time. Uh, and then this is going to get our PCB ready to upload all the different tables. So this could take anywhere from about uh, two to four minutes or so. So let's go ahead and just wait for that to finish up. All right, so just finished the loading the payload and now it's getting ready to um, configure the network. So at this point in time, it should feel like it's going to disconnect on your PC. So you might hear a chime that hears it disconnect and then it's gonna reconnect. So let's go ahead and wait for that chime. There it is. All right, now it says PCB setup is complete. Please run step two, configure networking now. So this should be a very, very quick step to configure networking. If you see a little pop-up on the side of your screen uh, allowing a network device, just go ahead and click yes as well. Um, so now what it's doing is just checking to make sure that it has the Marvel, Star Wars, and the Williams APKs onto your table for the first time. So if this is your very first time loading these tables, uh, go ahead and click on update install um, each of these APKs. You have to make sure that they are in the root of your folder wherever you your executable is and it's going to just go ahead and install all three of those tables onto the machine so let's go ahead and just click on all three of these and make sure they're installed all right so once you're finished with the apk installs you might have already had this done the next thing you're going to do is click on three update and install launchers so if this is a uh, you're going to be updating from uh, any of the previous versions 3.1 or this is brand new this step three is a must you're going to install the new launcher which has pretty much everything unlocked now you don't have to enter any secret codes for zen pinball and pinball arcade so now we have pinball arcade and zen pinball as two of the new features that you can add in addition to the 30 tables here you could also still dump your apks if you have them from your original table so that's still something that you can do as well um so uh I, again the apks for both pinball arcade and zen are on team encoders uh, website um, so let's start off with the Zen pinball table because so that's the most familiar one. Uh, you do want to update this as well, even if you've already gotten it. You have to make sure that you get Zen pinball version 1.47. No other versions will work. You can Google getting this version if you want to or check out the website. You're going to navigate to wherever you have it. So I'm going to go over to my desktop, uh, go to that actual A1 pinner, and then go to um, it, this is called zp.apk. If you download it from the website, it's the same version that's here. Um, so make sure you reinstall Zen Pinball. Even if you've already have it on 3.1, you're going to want to reinstall this and update the launcher. So make sure you do that. Okay. Um, I'll get you, I'll show you guys how to add tables in just a second. So now we're going to do the same thing for Pinball Arcade. So Pinball Arcade, we're going to click on Install Update. This version has to be version 2.17.7 for Pinball Arcade. Click OK. Navigate again to wherever you downloaded it. It's going to be my root folder. I'm going to click on Open. Now we have Pinball Arcade and Zenball. Um, the programs loaded, but we don't have any tables yet. So now I'm going to transition from... Uh, you know, the installation right here on how to get the tables from BlueStacks so that you can get them and pick which tables you want to purchase them from the Zen application and put them onto your PC to get them ready here. So let's go ahead and open up BlueStacks. So I mentioned BlueStacks earlier as well. 
we're going to just put this to the side for now. Don't close this out because we're going to need it in just a second. Uh, so BlueStacks, as I mentioned, is a free Android application that will um, allow you to play you know, current games on your desktop. So this is just a nice way to play these games. Um, if you double click on those APKs for Pinball Arcade and Zen Pinball from your um from your screen, if you if you went here and just double clicked on, say, um, um, let's do Zen Pinball. If you if you double click on the APK, it'll install it already as well. So that's one of the nice things. So you should be able to install them or drag them into here, and it'll get them installed. Um, so let's go to the Zen Pinball table just as a quick refresher on how to purchase the table and then be able to grab the media from this particular table. So we're opening up Zen Studios, um, the pinball app here so you can see all the different interfaces uh, for different tables that you may or may not have these are the back to the future ones that you that aren't on the table so you definitely want to grab those um, i'm going to go to marvel and grab the table that i know i don't have uh, which is guardians of the galaxy so let's go ahead and go to guardians of the galaxy i'm going to buy this table for a dollar 99 um, and then go ahead and purchase this and it's going to allow me to make this purchase and um, okay. All right, so I just purchased Guardians of the Galaxy and now it's downloading the table onto my uh, computer and there's a way to access this file through Media Manager in Bluestacks uh, and get it onto your computer. All right, so we're just gonna go back right here. You can see that Guardians of the Galaxy is now highlighted there. So it does have one of those tables. Um, so in order to get to the Media Manager, you can download and buy any of these tables you want to from Zen Pinball. If you go to the home screen right here and go back to your blue stacks, here's how we're going to grab the files for Zen Pinball. So make sure you download as many tables as you want to. Click on System Apps, Media Manager. Click on Explore, Android data go to zen pinball files and then here's where you should be able to see your tables now there's some weird code names here that you'll see but there's some tools to be able to figure out which table it is so we're going to click on the export to windows and we're going to click on um, select all and then just export to Windows. And in here, a, a pop-up will show up. You can just select any folder. I'm just gonna create a brand new folder on my desktop that says Zen Pinball Tables. Okay, select that folder and it's gonna export whatever purchase tables that you want to onto my desktop. So that's the media manager portion for Zen Pinball, okay? So let's just finish up the Zen Pinball installation right now so that you guys can see the sample of what to do. So now that we have our Zen Pinball tables, we're gonna use this next step here called fixed table names. So click on fixed table names, we're going to click okay, navigate to your desktop where those Zen Pinball tables are at and click okay for that folder. And it's gonna start looking for the different files that are there and look for that table and translate it to the table that you purchased. So now I have uh, the Marble Guardians table that's here and it's finished processing. So depending on how many tables you have, uh, you know it'll go through that whole list. So now we're gonna go to the manage tables section of this and um, this is a really awesome a user interface where you can choose the local directory where you have your folders so we're going to go back to um, my desktop one more time zen pinball tables and now there's a folder called fixed tables click on that hit the ok button and you'll see the Marvel Guardians PXP that's listed on the left-hand side. So you'll see multiple versions of this uh, listed here. Um, I buy, for, for example, I also downloaded a bunch of these um, earlier um, as well. So if I go to documents, and so these are an example. If I do, um, let's go to my Zen 10 ball tables here for fixed tables. If I choose a directory where I have all the tables downloaded, you will see all the different versions tables uh, downloaded here. So these are just tables that I've already purchased and I have the PXPs for. So if we want to upload them, let's upload, um, you know, Marvel or Aliens. We'll do the three Aliens ones and let's do uh, the three Jurassic Park ones. So here is the uh, cool thing about 
this uh, you can't select all the tables because you want to be watching the total space that's listed here there's 2.4 gigabytes here there's 2.1 gigabytes of free space by selecting the tables you can watch as you click select uploaded tables here it's going to add them onto the pcb so you can see here how many tables are added as well as the table sizes and how much free space you have left so this is a great way to add i believe it's up to 90 plus tables just from the zen pinball and then we have pinball arcade which we're going to get to in just a second so as it goes through um, you're going to want to just follow this user interface it's super super simple to upload you can double check how much free space you have please 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 do not load more tables than you have space you may uh you know not might not get a working pcb uh, or might not work properly you should be able to flash it and fix anything if you overload it but just follow this prompt and you will not uh, you know, go wrong. You could also delete tables from your PCB as well. But now we have six new pinball tables added to Zen Pinball. So that's the last step for Zen Pinball. Um, the last thing you want to do is upload the Solenoid CFG. If you've not already done this before, this is your first time. If you've already done this for 3.1, you can skip this step but we're going to upload the solenoid configurations. Now there's a folder called SLND for solenoids. Double click that, and then you're going to uh, hit Control A. It's gonna highlight all of these different configurations and open them, and it's gonna install all the configuration files for any of these Zen pinball tables. Now this is pretty much pre-mapped and configured. This was a community effort. So thanks to those that were uh, helping make this possible and it was made uh, you know, available to upload already. And you don't have to figure this out yourself. Before my old tutorial, you had to figure that out. So Zen pinball is done. So that's how we've installed Zen. We fixed the table names. We did the table manager. We've uploaded the Solenoid configurations. All right, so now we're gonna head over to Pinball Arcade side of things and finish up installing Pinball Arcade through the Manage Tables function. Just like we did with Zen Pinball, we're gonna head back over to BlueStacks. We're gonna load up BlueStacks again and open up Pinball Arcade. Uh, so make sure you um, install Pinball Arcade from the APK that was installed. When you double click on it, it should be able to launch it. Um, you should be able to log in using whatever um, you know Google account that you have. Uh, you don't worry about these pop-up messages. You don't have to worry about that. You're going to press the start. Um, and then here, what we're going to do is see the menu of all the different tables. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the sound for this. Um, go to the uh, pinball tables of, or whatever pinball tables that you want to get. Um, you can sort by manufacturer. You can sort by you know different table packs, alphabetical by year. Um, so from here, let's download a handful of them. So Adam's family is a good one. So here you're going to click the start and then download the trial versions of these tables. Now, unfortunately, all these tables have been discontinued, so you're not able to purchase them. Um, but downloading the trial tables does allow you to be able to use them and, and have a full version of them. So uh, this is Adam's family. You can play this here on your computer if you want to but now that we have it downloaded we're going to rinse and repeat and go back to other things you have williams tables like attack from mars you have different versions of it so let's go check out some of the other big ones that we have here creature from the black lagoon we'll go ahead and press start download the trial version of creature uh, there's some great amazing pinball tapes on here there's ghostbusters from stern uh, there's also Avara, House of Horrors. There's a couple of these key versions of games that I would consider, you know, grabbing Central Park. Uh, let's see, Doctor Who, F14, Tomcat. Uh, again, there was the Ghostbusters Premium right there. Um, let's go all the way down to some of my favorites right here. There's Monster Bash. Uh, I think there was, I saw Monster Bash if you want to grab Monster Bash. Um, there is Theater of Magic, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Let's play some T2. So let's hit start, play trial version of that one. Uh, and then I'm going to grab Star Trek The Next Generation too. So these are just some, some quick tables. Uh, again, you'll want to, I don't think there's room to grab all of these yet. So make sure you pick and choose which ones you want to use and upload for now. Um, there will be a future support to be able to put these onto a USB. But for now, just grab some of the tables that you really want to play. And let's get going. The last one I want to play, Star Trek The Next Generation. It's an old Williams table. We're going to grab that version as well. All right, from here, you're going to go back to the home screen um, of BlueStack. So go to home, and we're going to do the exact same thing we did with Zen. Go to system apps, media manager, explore, Android, data. And now we're going to go to this far site uh, pinball arcade folder, files. And then you'll see my Adams Family, Creature, Terminator. So these are already uh, named appropriately. You don't need to do the fixed title names. We're going to click on Export to Windows, Select All, 
and export to Windows. Here again, you can just select your, your desktop, add a new folder that says uh, pinball arcade tables, or you could put it in any folder that you want to. So once it's done exporting, you can go ahead and close out of Glue, Glue Stacks. Just make that a lot smaller. And then we're back here. So from here, Pinball Arcade, we're going to click on Manage Tables. You're going to choose the local directory for where you just put those tables. So on my desktop, Zen Pinball Tables, oh, not Zen Pinball Tables, uh, Pinball Arcade Tables. It's going to load them up. So these are the four here. I'm just going to double check these. Again, there's no select all. And this, by the way, is, is one of the first caveats. So even though it says there's 1.5 gigabytes of space here, the free space functionality doesn't work quite the same as Zen. So don't pay attention to this yet. Just make sure you don't upload more than a gig worth of games yet. So just be careful. And also, there might be a slight bug in this version where if I click on upload, this might crash. So let's double check. All right, so uh, everything crashed. And, and that's OK. This is a known bug or area. If it does bug out, just go ahead and relaunch this. You're just going to go back to wherever you have it uh, and then just relaunch it and go to back to configure networking again. You don't have to go through all the steps again. You should just be able to start off with configure networking if you leave your USB plugged in. So this is a known issue. Don't freak out if it happens to you, especially if this is stock and the first time you're running this. Uh, this happened to me several times. So I just want to make you aware. You can just go ahead and click on configure networking. You don't have to do any of these other steps again. Just go back to manage tables for Pinbar Arcade. Select your, you know, however many tables you want to, click on upload, and it should start the upload again one more time. So as you can tell here, it's adding the tables. It's saying one at a time. It's saying that there's, you know, 55 megabytes. This free space uh, portion isn't working out. If you add a bunch of these, you might start seeing like a percentage or like a number there, 1.3 gigabytes of space left. Um, but it's not quite accurate yet. So I wouldn't pay too much attention to this, to this. Just make sure you check the file sizes and that you're not uploading more than a gig worth of games so far yet. It's not that huge, but you want to be careful. All right, that's it. So now we've uploaded the pinball arcade games. We've uploaded Zen Pinball. We've uploaded all these things. You don't have to enter any more secret codes. It is time to now go back to our machine and we're going to demo some of the new features on the cab itself. So let's go ahead and close this out. Um, all you need to do is just close this. You can go ahead and shut off your pinball machine at this point in time. And then um, we can uh, flip the switch back to the other mode and then switch our pinball on. So let's go ahead and shut this off. All right, and we're going to get ready. So let's go ahead and flip this around and get going. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, again, uh, flip the switch back on the PCB back to the other side. So flip it back in the opposite direction. So it should be in the on switch position now. OK. If you want to be extra careful, you can always unplug your PC or your pinball machine beforehand. Uh, you also, you don't have to get it from the front area. This is just for my ease of access. You can reach from it from the back. So now we're going to flip it on and hopefully check everything out. All right, so now you see the uh, pinball interface here. This is the original launcher with the Marvel tables, Star Wars, Williams tables, and automatically unlocked. You have the Zen pinball tables. And you have Pinball Arcade. So this is now five different versions of games that you can play. If you're playing the original uh, tables here, you can just go ahead and launch them. Uh, they'll just launch directly into the original Arcade One Up interface. These tables should play exactly the same stock as much as you want to. To exit the games, just so that you know, you just need to press the two front buttons on the front. And this will exit the games and go back to the launcher menu. So for Marvel, Star Wars, and Williams, you can navigate between these three tables by just pressing the two front buttons and just play the 30 games up front. Um, but for Zen, if you play the Zen pinball tables or the pinball arcade, in order to switch back to some of the other interfaces to the other games, you're going to just shut down your actual pinball machine and reboot it one more time. So that's just the caveat on being able to switch back. Shouldn't hurt your PCB at all. Just make sure that you do it. Don't like flip it on and on frequently, but it should work just fine. So here's the big, big change now for um, the user interface. If you press the front white button, you will now see a uh, interface. This is a uh, pinner settings menu here. So let's go over the pinner settings that you see here. At the very top, it says back to launcher. There's an ability for the launcher to set up which default game 
you want it to go to. So right now it's set to Marvel as the default game. You have resolution options to switch on 1080p mode. You have the DMD for Zen to flip on. And if you look at the bottom, there's a sneak peek at being able to add external storage for both Zen and Pinball Arcade. So these aren't enabled yet, these bottom two. So know that that's coming. But uh, in order to get to these sections here, you're going to have to press these buttons here. So the, bu the left white button is down. And unfortunately, the contrast isn't that great. So you have to probably hit, hit it about three times, and then you'll get it to the 1080p resolution. I don't know if you can see it there, but it's now I'm, I'm kind of going up and down between uh, Zen DMD and 1080p. And you can see a little highlighted section over this little button. So I'm going to enable Zen DMD by pressing the launcher button. Uh, and then also I'm going to go up to 1080p mode. I'm just going to go ahead and enable 1080p mode as well right now. So when I enable 1080p mode, it's going to like switch to screen uh, to this 1080p. It's going to reset everything and then play it uh, pretty well. So 1080p works across all the games, um, especially Zen Pinball. It already fills up the DMD full screen. If you leave it in 720 mode, the DMD won't be full screen and you have to change it in the settings menu. The only game that doesn't play that well in 1080p is the Williams pinball tables. Those still need to run in 720p, unfortunately. So, you know, make sure that you set that appropriately. And the other cool thing is uh, this is a Star Wars table. So if you want the um, main game to be Star Wars, I'm going to go to the default selection. So I can select Star Wars as my main Williams, Zen Pinball, or Pinball Arcade. I want the Star Wars tables to show up first because that's my table. So... You can see the resolution settings kind of stayed in that bottom section. It's still maybe a little bit buggy, but otherwise I'm gonna go back to launcher and now I'm in my regular pinball settings. Cool. So let's go ahead and test out Zen Pinball and demo the working DMD backlash that's working. So this is one of the major features in Zen to have a fully working um, backlash or um, DMD here. So before the main play field had the DMD in the top left corner, with this fix, the Zen Pinball Machine will have, if you enabled it in the menu settings, uh, full screen DMD on the backs. All right, so let's go to Jurassic Park Pinball. Pinball. Jurassic, Jurassic Park Pinball. And play some Jurassic Park Pinball Machine. All right. To Jurassic Park. So now you can see that the full DMD is working on the back. Uh, you still have Volume Rocker working. Land the ball in the nest. Got full on plunger support. Solenoids working for all the tables. And it's running in full. Full 1080p mode too, so that's uh, always great. But just the fact that the fact that you have full DMD support is pretty amazing. Just having that mode enabled uh, makes this excellent. So now you have DMD support full screen for these Zen Pinball tables. And again, to be able to get out of a game in Zen Pinball. You hold the front two white buttons for about five to six seconds. And then the menu is going to come up and then you should be able to navigate down and then exit back to your home screen and then switch tables within the Zen interface. And then again, if you want to switch to a different app, so now let's get to Pinball Arcade. You have to shut it off and then we're going to turn it on one more time. All right, lastly, we're going to navigate to Pinball Arcade and launch it up. And Pinball Arcade, while it is working, there are several things that aren't working on the cab or on the game so far. So first off, uh, there's a lot of work to even get this running. The controls have been uh, set up as well as the camera has been locked, which is already great. There's no plunger or solenoid support or DMD yet for Pinball Arcade. So you can just play these amazing games, uh, but unfortunately you won't be able to change any of those settings yet. So I'm just gonna bring down that volume a little bit. So uh, to navigate to the pinball tables, press the left flipper, and then it's gonna go down to the pinball tables. And then you're gonna use these uh, front left and right flippers to go up and down. Um, so let's go to um, you know uh, Adam's Family, for example, which we loaded up. 
um, we're going to click on the um, launcher and launch the table. So if it doesn't launch for the first time, actually, this is another known issue. Uh, if you if you try to launch a table that you don't have and it tries to launch. Uh, so like I know I didn't download Big Shot and you try to launch it, it'll just kick you back to the home page. But earlier we did get uh, Adam's family downloaded, right? We also downloaded a couple other games as well. Um, I think we did Creature from the Black Lagoon. So let's go to Creature. Uh, up, up, left. So that was Creature from the Black Lagoon. If we press the enter button, it's just going to go back to the home page. So don't fret at what you need to do. And maybe this is just my machine. You just have to reboot it one time. So again, this is not perfect yet. That's why it's 3.9. This is almost it's like at the fourth version of the alpha release. So uh, give Mystery Encoder and team a little bit of a break that things aren't working as smoothly as possible. But if you follow these steps, just reboot it one more time and it should work. So let's just wait for it one more time and double check. All right, so we're back. Second time going to Pinball Arcade. So if you uh, launched it for the first time in Pinball Arcade and you got kicked out for tables that you did uh, load on there through the Manage Tables function, let's go ahead and try it one more time. So we're going to go down to Adam's Family, hit that Start button, and with all success, it should launch. And we have Adam's Family running on our pinball machine. So here it is. Uh, again, the plunger is not working, but you do have to be able to just press the uh, launcher and it should launch right now. And then you have, I just turned on the volume right there, but I want to turn up a little bit. There it is. All right. So you have the controllers working, flippers are working. This is just uh, meant to be additional fun for now, extra added value to your cab. Lock camera screen. Super fun to play. There it is. So uh, pressing the left white button brings you to the um, the home screen. And then you can just exit to exit game. It's going to take you back to this. And then you're going to press the left right button to go to another game. So yeah, let's go to... What did we go to before? I think I downloaded um, Terminator 2. Let's do Terminator 2. You got to scroll all the way down. There it is. Past it. All right. Judgment today. Judgment today. Terminator 2. There it is. All right. So we have Terminator 2. Judgment, Judgment day. day. Boom. Direct hit. Direct hit. Uh, I can't wait for future versions once Solenoid configurations get supported. The DMD is on the front screen right here. So you have a DMD. It's just not in the back area. It's just mirrored. Uh, and eventually, I know that uh, Team Encoder will still be working on this to bring you the best mods moving forward. Uh, so that's pretty much it. That's the full installation guide to get version 3.9 of the Pinair involved. You can install as many of these tables as you can. Make sure you don't overload your tables. Um, but it's it's really, really fun. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for following along. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Check out Mystery Encoder's website, team-encoder, to get all the information that you want to. Uh, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Support Zen, buy those tables, Pinball Arcade. Uh, if you can find a way to support them, I hope we can too. And now we can play these games on our Arcade 1-Up Pinball Machine. Thanks, guys. See you later. Bye.